Thank you, and ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to The Hague. It's great to see you all gathered here for this Alzheimer Europe conference. The Hague is proud to host this important conference, not in the least because the subject of this Congress touches the lives of countless men and women. Your dedicated work makes a difference for individual people all around the world. And it's the world that it's, is at home in The Hague in various ways. About 50% of all men, women, and children here have their roots in countries from every part of the globe. I came from Suriname, South America, for example. Nearly every language is spoken in our city. Nearly every faith is professed here in The Hague. We are very proud of this cultural diversity. Since centuries, The Hague has been an open city with a worldwide view, something which is and always will be The Hague's greatest strength. It was the open character of The Hague which enabled it to become what it is, the international city of peace and justice. Today, The Hague is home to numerous international institutions, organizations, and NGOs. In The Hague, there are around 18,000 people working day in and day out to create a better world, a world without chemical weapons, without ethnic cleansing, a world in which conflicts between states are fought, not on the battlefield, but in the courtroom, a world where the rule of law reigns, not the rule of the mob. And those who think to flaunt the rules of international law are held responsible by the world in The Hague. But there must, of course, be also peace and justice for the residents of The Hague. The Hague is a city where we care about each other, we have, where we have an eye for the weak and those in need, the elderly, the disabled, the chronically ill, this includes the care for people with Alzheimer's disease. Many of them live at home for a long time before admission to a nursing home follows. They can live at home for so long thanks to the help and commitment of many. Professional employees and volunteers, lots of volunteers. One in five people in The Hague takes care of someone. These caregivers are the silent forces of our society because they ensure that many people can live a more or less independent life until old age. Altogether, it is often an impressive number of tasks these informal caregivers do. And sometimes it can be a considerable burden. That is also the reason why the municipality of The Hague actively supports the caregivers. Another issue is uh, the commitment which the municipality has is the fight against loneliness. Many men and women in our city suffer from loneliness. Among them are also people with Alzheimer's disease. Together with residents, we want to help lonely people out of their isolation. This can be done in a relatively simple way for example, by stimulating social contacts in the neighborhood and in the streets. In The Hague, we want to be a city where everyone feels at home and that offers security to all citizens. Research into diseases such as Alzheimer can help us with this. And that is why I am all the more glad to see you all gathered here. I do hope you will have a successful and inspiring conference. Enjoy your stay here in this beautiful city. And please remember that you will be always welcome here. Thank you.